This is a micro switch that's used normally on a 3D printer configuration as an end stop. Down here we have two connections that we have for red and black. They're connected over here and these female Molux connectors connect to pins on your 3D printer board. In a moment I'll show you how to set up the connection and test it. Okay, these are the end stop ports. I'll review real quick. This is the X set of end stops. This is the Y set of end stops. This is the Z set of end stops. This is X min. This is X max. This is Y min. This is Y max. This is Z min. This is Z max. Now inside here, down written in the background, you have V, G, and S. What that stands for is voltage, ground, signal. In a moment, I'll show you how to connect the end stop to this. Okay, to connect the end stop, what we're going to do is we're going to connect the red to Y max on the ground side and then black to the signal pin and in a moment I'll show you how to connect the USB connection and load the firmware okay now we're gonna connect the USB serial cable so we're gonna connect the big end of the computer and the small end to the computer and you're gonna hear a beep now keep in mind, once this light is lit, you don't want to touch the board, but it's okay to touch the sensor. So in a moment, I'll show you how to load the firmware. Okay, we're going to open up the Marlin 1.1.8. We're going to go into the Marlin subfolder. We're going to hit M on the keyboard. We're going to scroll down to marlin.ino and hit enter. We're going to go to the configuration.h tab. We're going to search on x underscore min and hit enter, then escape. Then we're going to scroll up to where it says define space use underscore y max underscore plug and uncomment that. And then we're going to check to see that we have a port selected under tools. So we're going to select port 3. And then we're going to verify that we have the right board configuration. We're going to use the Adreno Mega because it has the exact same architecture as the MKS Gen L board. So now we're going to hit compile and upload. Okay, we're going to open up Pronerface. We're going to connect to the device. We're going to type M119 and press enter. And right now it says YMAX is open. So I'm going to press it with my finger to actuate it. press M119 again and now it says triggered so now I'm gonna release the end stop and press enter again and now it says open so if you like my video please press the like button and subscribe and thank you for your time